say, Johnny, what did that booth run you? If you want to give us a ballpark. Um, so it's just under 1800 in that range. And then after fees and wow. stuff, it, it, it comes up to be about that. But I split that with George. Uh, not even split, but we, you know, we, we divide things up a little bit. So it looked uh, like I saw a picture of your setup. It looked like you guys didn't quite do like the corner. It looks like you guys all did one, you know, like one long, um, yeah. Set up. Is that, yeah. is that, yeah, we wanted to do the corner table, but it, it kind of protruded out a little bit and it would have made things a little cramped to get in and out. Gotcha. So we were just like, and there was a lot of people coming in and out of the booth. You know, we had, uh, you know, Roger, my friend Alex was coming in and out of the booth to hang out. Um, my buddy, uh, an illustrator on surrounded by death. Joe was there signing books. So, you know, it was just for the sake of flow, having that third table was not really a good idea. Now we're thinking about for the future with a two table design where we might be able to incorporate that sec, you know, that side table and then exit in the middle. Oh, okay. And that will make it kind of neat in that regard. You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember when me and Amy did the, the cor the actual corner, it is a tight fit getting in and out because yeah. they, I mean, they, 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 scrunch you right into oh, that space yeah, they do. you know they yeah, don't they give do. you like a, a an inch of extra space you know so exactly um so i remember that you know so well that's good to hear that like any other highlights that you uh that you can think of uh well we you, you know it's a, it's just it's a great show where uh you know it's got a pretty strong comic community uh you know i had a real great time hanging out with tony and the gang at the pubs each night uh, yeah. You know, looking over, uh, you know, Tony got to allow me to preview a little bit of Star Noir 2, and it's pretty cool. Now nice. that I've had read issue one, I'm even more excited. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there, you know, that was really awesome. And uh, it was just fun connecting and hanging out with comic crew and comic That's people. Awesome. And, you know, was it like a creator and, after network? Yeah, we tried. Uh, thing. We normally do a really big creator after con thing. And that was back when we had twins hosting us. So this year was more of kind of an exploratory year to find a new pub. And okay. you know, Tony was, in, you know, was with us when we were checking out two venues. Mm -hmm. One was really, really nice and named an Irish pub, but not really an Irish pub. Then the other one was like smaller hole in the wall, cozy, but genuinely an Irish pub. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> Would you agree, yeah. Tony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I did like the second one. I thought that one had like a, a downstairs area that that could be good for for future um, uh, creator after con cons. Yeah, the second venue had charm in that regard. Yeah, for sure, yeah. absolutely. Was there any highlights uh, outside of the Scott Snyder experience, Tony? For you, or? Uh, well, I met a cosplayer who dressed up uh, as Hollow Knight at this Metroidvania game that I really love, uh, okay. and. They uh, instead of saying that they liked my mustache, they just kind of pointed to their they pointed to their mask like that. I, I was uh, I was really charmed charmed by that. That's great, uh, awesome. <laughs> but it was also great to to hang out um, the you know at the aftercon with other creators, both on Friday night and Saturday night. Just you know, just hanging out with everybody. You know, just talking stuff. We talked about like future panels that we'd want to put together. It was it was great. It was awesome. That's cool. That's what always always those after after convention dinners and hangouts usually are, you know, you know, I, I laugh at the people who are like, Oh, I got to get into the Marvel party. That's where it's at. It's like, if you're not hanging out in an Irish <laughs> pub with other comic creators, planning projects, you're not doing New York comic con. Right. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Not even that, but like how uncool is Marvel and DC now? Like, it's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's so like everything indie is where it's at, you know? So yeah, I agree with you, John. It's a, yeah, you know, but amongst amongst uh, uh, you know manga and anime, which has clearly taken the front seat. And that's in a what lot Tony was saying when you were when you were when you dipped out. Like, yeah, it's definitely more prevalent, huh, at the show? Yeah, a lot, very much so. Final words on NYCC uh, before we start moving on here. Uh, Any big announcements guys? or anything? Any big things coming out that they announced? Ooh. Uh, uh, you know, I was kind of out of the loop on the news cycle of what I was getting released. I, the, you know, so actually, honestly, there was one thing I did see, <laughs> and we were talking about how uncool Marvel is, but they are doing this project that's you know shooting Marvel into the future, and they're they're following like an old man cap, 
And uh, I think it's Chip Sardarsky who's possibly doing it. I forget. Okay. But uh, it looked it's actually good. pretty interesting. Yeah. It might be something that may, might make me uh, – read that series that you know that new run coming up i don't know i don't know if anybody else saw that or heard of no, it. i didn't see anything about that it's like an old cap run is that what you're saying so it's not an old cap run it's, just, it's like a new future avengers it's trying to show like oh it's a future event it's a future okay. thing so like um yeah like uh <clears throat> it looks like, like this is basically the, the 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 nature of what happens to the marvel universe in the future and kind of gotcha. like yeah it looked really good and it, like it seems like old man cap is like the center focused character and it looks like tony stark maybe uh you know kind of what they alluded at in some of the uh movies where like he's a like a bio over or biotechnical overlord kind of thing gotcha that's yeah. cool like I, I mean i like chip sadarsky i think he's a he's probably don't quote me on that though I, i'm only going off a of rough memory it's been a tough weekend Keith. Yeah. <laughs> I gotcha. drank a lot. Well, <laughs> the one uh the one news i did hear about indie comics actually is uh was kind of exciting was um jeff johns has like a whole thing ready to oh, explode heard about that um i think yep. it was called like ghost machine or something it's yes. like an yeah. extension of his um mad ghost stuff yep and um <clears throat> that looks awesome it looks like they're gunning to be like uh like an exciting like image kind of yeah revival you know it's, um it's him it's like peter tomasi Gary brian Frank. hitch Brian Hitch. He's Jason doing that red coat book. It looks awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. I've been reading all of those along. Um, Geiger. Geiger was the first one. It was excellent. And then the second one that was even better was Junkyard Joe. That one was great. So if you guys can get those in trades, check those out. I, I did reviews on both of them, I think. And um, yeah, I'm excited for all that stuff that they got coming. Peter Tomasi's part of it. A bunch of other people. It's going to be if it takes off, I think that's going to be really good, good, exciting comics coming from, uh, you know, from uh, cool creators again. So hopefully um, the only other thing I saw, I saw a preview for Invincible season two, like a more fleshed out preview came out on YouTube. And then I thought there was something else. Omni man's in uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, nope. that was that's another right. preview right. I saw. They showed some of the gameplay that looked mm -hmm. pretty cool. Um, and then I think they had a new trailer for um, the Scott Z. Pilgrim uh, anime that Netflix is releasing. There was a panel for that. Yeah, it's pretty impressive that the, all the voices from the movie are coming back. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, wow. And it looks like the comic. I did read the comic uh, years ago, and I I love the look of it. So like, I, I might check that out when it comes out on Netflix. Um, that was about all I saw. There was probably more news, but. That was all. There didn't seem to be a lot coming out of New York Comic Con. The other thing is that the there is still one strike going on. That's oh, there know, is. Is it an yeah, actor yeah. strike? I, or I believe it's the actor strike. The writer yeah. strike is over, so the actor <laughs> strike is still going on. So it's funny. Like they had Norman Reedus there talking about Walking Dead, but he's a producer on the show, so that was the okay. loophole that allows him to be able to appear. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? next event something like that yeah it looks <laughs> something like that I, I i forget what the name is and i'm i'm pretty bad about it right now but yeah i'll have to look it up because look it up the trailer they, they released looks really cool awesome yeah the trailer is probably online all right yeah. gents so new york comic-con sounds like it was successful i'm glad yep. you did well johnny yeah. i'm glad i, I spared uh, you guys all the lo the traveling lament that i went through oh, <laughs> well i know i that that's the worst thing hands down for new york yep. comic-con is getting in and out of there so i took your advice about coming in on wednesday i am glad advise, you did it yes i'm <laughs> going to advise people to leave on monday don't try to leave at the end of the show it's just it's craziness well what we usually do we used to pack up and leave at like three o'clock that way we I, get out of there before the traffic you know i packed up and left at 3 30 uh they closed off a block my uber uh, took forever to get to Penn station. Uh, uh, it was like a hundred dollar Uber ride that was quoted originally at 30. Wow. Uh, it was bad. <laughs> I, I went two blocks in 45 minutes. It was just crazy. Uh, was well, you, could, you probably could have walked there, Johnny. And the got suitcases. I had so much gear I was lugging. <laughs> it, I would have had a heart attack halfway through there. <laughs> <laughs> was that like that scene in office space when, um, we're, uh, Michael Bolton stuck in traffic and he's just watching the old lady in the walker go by. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly like that. Exactly what it was. 
That's awesome. And the old lady in the walker is getting further ahead than he is. Yeah. <laughs> it's great stuff. <laughs>